Today we are showing you our Spin Control L Centrifuge Controller, installed in a Sigma 316KL Laboratory Centrifuge. The Centrifuge Controller has just three buttons, for start, stop and lid opening. An illuminated button has an assigned function. All settings are made using a single central knob. You can turn the knob left and right to navigate to the individual menu items. Press the knob to enter setting mode and make settings. All settings can also be changed during a run. All preselected values are shown on the display, target and actual values, speed or RCF, runtime, temperature, rotor and bucket combination, acceleration and braking curves, and optionally a program. To set the speed, turn the knob one click to the right. After pressing the knob, you can select a different value and confirm it by pressing the knob again. To set the RCF, turn the knob two clicks to the right. Press the knob and select a value, then press the knob again to accept the new value. To change the runtime, turn the knob four clicks to the right. Press the knob and set the new runtime, then press the knob again to accept the altered value. You can optionally have the run time start only after the centrifuge has reached the set point speed. To do so, turn the knob three clicks to the right and then activate the option by pressing the knob and turning it one click to the right. Then press the knob again to confirm the setting. To change the temperature, turn the knob five clicks to the right. Press the knob and select a different value, then press the knob again to accept the new value. To manually select a rotor or a rotor bucket combination, turn the knob 6 clicks to the right. After pressing the knob, you can select different rotors or rotor bucket combinations. To change the acceleration curve, turn the knob 7 clicks to the right. After you press the knob and make the setting, the new acceleration curve will be accepted. Number 9 is the fastest acceleration. To set the braking curve, turn the knob 8 clicks to the right. After you press the knob, make the setting and confirm it, the new braking curve will be accepted. Number 9 is the strongest braking, while 0 is free run out. Turn the knob multiple clicks to the right until you reach the bottom of the menu. There you can enable or disable automatic lid opening, the acoustical signal, and program blocking. To enable or disable an option, press the knob, turn it by one click, and then press it again.
every rotor can only be used for a defined number of runs. You can view the number of completed rotor runs at the bottom of the menu. The centrifuge automatically displays an error code when the maximum number of runs is reached. Press and hold the start button to put the centrifuge in short run mode. The time is incremented. When you let go of the button, the centrifuges is break to a stop. You can use the rapid temp program to quickly cool the centrifuge. First select a target temperature that is lower than the actual temperature. Then select the rapid temp program at the bottom of the menu and start the run. You can enable automatic lid opening at the bottom of the menu. Press the knob, turn it and then press it again, and then press the start button to start the run. After the run is finished, the centrifuge lid will open automatically. 